If we have widespread undermining evasion of law, then we have chaos. It is the solemn duty of every respectable citizen to work for the building of better youth, of youth fortified by the proper type of education, and of moral guidance against false temptations. It is the duty of... <laughs> Let us have to really visualize this gigantic army of 3,500,000 criminals. I am tonight in one of the largest cities of the United States. If the law-abiding citizens of this city should be suddenly removed, and in their place there should be substituted an army of forgers, thieves, rapists, kidnappers, plunderers, bank robbers, and murderers, it would only equal the crime population of America. That is crime. To combat crime, there must be a constant. Crime should not be a primary factor in our common schools. It should be listed as even more important than reading and writing and arithmetic. It should be a motto of all such organizations as the Boys Clubs of America that any school which fails to pound and pound and pound upon the fact that honesty is necessary, that honesty is vital, and that crime is filthy, is failing in its task to properly educate the children with whose future it has been entrusted. There is no magic to the formula of crime prevention. It amounts only to honesty in effort, honesty in office, honesty in law enforcement, honesty in punishment, and the constant insistence upon honesty everywhere about us. It is because parents